everybody, it's Amber Fox here, and I wanted to get this video, some videos out to you today. Um, I've been a bit under the weather the last couple of days, so I apologize for the way I look right now, but um, I wanted to make sure I got these out to you. The next probably, gosh, at least 15, 20 videos that I'm going to do for the challenge, I wanted to talk to you about a book that I'm reading. I'm reading Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker, and it's amazing. Um, it's really taught me a lot about my mindset and how I got to where I've gotten and how I can get even farther. So I'm going to break it up into little sections in each video so that my videos don't get too long, because if I sat here and talked about the whole book, I'd be like a five-hour long video. But um, So I'm going to get started with... Part one of the book was talking about your money blueprint and how the outer laws of money are your business knowledge, the way you manage your money, and your investment strategies. But the inner part is your character, your thinking, and your beliefs. And these are critical to what determines your level of success in life, in money-wise. So... Because your income can grow only to the extent that you grow. You know, if you stay the same as you are right now, you're going to have what you have right now. If you don't like the results, you need to look at the roots. He, in the book, was talking about a fruit tree and how the results are the fruit that grow on the tree and that people look at those results and if they're not getting what, you know, what they want to get, they think there's something wrong with the company they're in, or the job they have, or, you know, something they're doing wrong. But that's not necessarily always the case. You need to look at the roots. You need to look at what your mind, you know, um, what you believe and how your mind works. And if you want, this quote is, I like this one, he said, if you want to change the fruits, you will first have to change the roots. If you want to change the visible, you must first change the invisible. You cannot change the fruits that are already hanging on the tree. You can, however, change tomorrow's fruits. So you can't change what you've already done or the results you've already gotten. But you can make the decision today to do something different like I did, I, it really hit home with me on that part because the results I had always gotten was working my 9 to 5 job that ended up um, being more than a 9 to 5 and I ended up working extra hours. And that was the results I was always going to get if I kept doing what I was doing. But I made a decision to do something different. I made a decision to try something out of the box. Um, you know, people looked at me like I was crazy when I started trying this, you know, at-home business, online business thing. But I didn't care. I didn't care what other people thought. I knew that I had to change what I was doing to get something different. And I got it because I believed it was possible. And I changed it. I changed my life. I changed the results I was getting. Um, and he also goes on to talk about that there are four quadrants in the world. There's the mental world, there's an emotional world, um, there's a physical world, and there's a spiritual world. And you got to look at all four. You can't change something just by doing something physically. You can't change something just by changing your mind, your emotions, or your spirituality. You know, a lot of times you have to do all four. So I'm going to stop right there for this video because I want to keep my videos right around five minutes. And we're coming up on that. So I really recommend that you pick up the book Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harvecker because it is changing everything. It's shown me, you know, it showed me how I got the results I've gotten. Thank goodness I got those little bit of results before I got the book. But now, you know, possibilities are endless.